Villainous by It's Underslash Kingston on AO3. Episode 37, Chapter 21, Distracted. Hey, dumbass one and two. This stupid broccoli says we have to give you five minutes before we blow you sky high. You've got two left before I kill you. Bakugo shouted, and Deku got in. We're taking you into custody for a fair trial. We'll only use extreme force if you threaten our lives. Ready? Toga said, moving into position behind Ochako. Yeah. The hero sighed, watching the life level against her neck again. I'm a professional. You won't get hurt unless I think you're in cahoots with them. Toga said quietly, as they began to walk forward. Hey, heroes, I'm coming out. Toga shouted as she rounded the corner. With a hostage! Uraka! Deku shouted, his mouth falling open. Todoroki looked shocked, and Bakugo just stood confused. Ochako! Sue looked like she was about to cry. Are you alright? What did they do? That's where you've been? Dumbass! Why'd you get kidnapped? Bakugo asked, his brows furrowed and tone just as sharp as before. I, uh, shut it. Toga pressed the knife closer to her throat. I want to negotiate her freedom for mine. What? No. Deku said firmly, though when the blade came close enough to potentially draw blood, he began to waver. If you kill her, nothing will stop us from killing you. Yeah, I know. Toga grinned. But wouldn't that be fun? You're sick. Todoroki spoke, shaking his head. Give her what she wants, Midoriya. Sue nodded in agreement. No, are you really that stupid? Bakugo grumbles. There's no way in hell you're getting shit, so just give that loser back to us and die. Hmm, no. Toga pressed the knife harder, and a thin line of blood dripped down the blade. If you actually kill me, I'll never forgive you. Ochako hissed. Ah, uh, don't worry, Chako. You'll be with your friends if they give me a phone and let me call my friends. Toga giggled. And damn, Ochako was worried about the fact that she found this psychopath to be so cute. Don't give her anything. I'll be fine. Ochako called out, and she saw Deku's expression turn sadder. No, don't say that. You deserve to be saved too. Just because you're a hero doesn't mean you get to tough it out alone. We'll give her a phone. The green-haired boy sighed in defeat. Nice touch. Togo whispered happily. Thanks. Ochako replied in turn. Surprisingly, she didn't feel bad for tricking the four that stood by the bank truck. She'd only been gone for a mere days, but had become accumulated to the League's lifestyle quickly. Here. Deku took his phone from his pocket and slid it across the ground. Think carefully. If it's tapped, I'm killing her. She gestured to the knife, glandily. And you're so very close to getting her back, too. It'd be a real shame. It's not tapped, I promise. Once I pick it up, I'll know if it is. I'm not a member of the League for nothing. Toga giggled. It really isn't. Okay, I'll trust you, Deku. Toga said his name in a way that eked Oraka, and she had quite the idea why. Toga grabbed the phone and dialed the number, before holding it out to her ear. Hey, Kiro! The heroes are here. Some UA kids. It wasn't our hero, though. Some scumbag from the game we wiped out was probably called off that day. It tipped him off so easily revenge. Yeah, we're fine. Got one of their phones by using Chaka as a hostage. Hi, Kira Gary, Ochako whispered. Anyways, need a port out? They totaled our car. Maybe I'll ask for reimbursement. Toga giggled. Thanks. Toga dropped the phone onto the concrete and stomped at it a few times. Makes it harder to trace. Well, it would, if we didn't already have scramblers at HQ. She explained. Okay, now... Let her go. Sue called from the side, ready to fight. Not yet, Froggy. 
Hyoko made sure the knife was still tight against Ochako's neck. I said my freedom for hers. She's my ticket out. If I give her back now, I won't be able to leave as easy. A portal wished open behind the car, and Toga began to back towards it. Well, it's been fun, heroes. Let her go! Taka demanded, balling his hands into a fist. Ah, you're so cute when you're angry. Fight me, and I'll kill her. Unless you want to see her bleed. I know I do. Toga smiled and kept walking backwards, nearing the portal. Don't worry, I'll let her go before I go through. No hero moved as Toga disappeared behind the flipped car, the portal still visible. She loosened her grip on Ochako, who grabbed her suit and ran through the portal first. Just kidding! Toga called as she went through too, and the portal shut hazily. Damn it! Taku raced over to the car, but didn't find either of them. Why'd I believe her? Sue hopped over and pulled a reassuring hand on his back. We'll get her back. I know she's doing her best to gather information and get back safely to us. Why'd you actually have to cut me? Ochako complained as she used a towel to wipe the blood from her neck. Because it needed to be realistic. And because I wanted to. Toga shrugged. We got away safely and that's all that matters. Oh, and there was no cash? We were completely set up. Yeah, and I know by who. Dobby grumbled. We can't trust her. A blue flame flickered in front of Ochako's face. I don't think so. Karagiri Muse. She wouldn't have used the opportunity of five on one to capture Toga and lead the heroes back here. I believe it's as Toga said. It's a tip for Bench. Maybe the RSR. You framed them at the museum, correct? Shigaraki asked. He'd been quieter than usual as the other spoke. Yeah, Ochako nodded. How'd they know it was us that framed them? Kirigiri sighed and shuffled through the newspaper on the top bar. Well, Toga's mask was stolen from here, and she has it back now. He laid a clipping out for them to see. As you could see in yesterday's breaking news section, there was a shaky photo of Toga standing over a body, mask pulled to her face, and knife held readily. Hint, <laughs> whoops. She chuckled awkwardly. Ha, whoops, almost got myself killed. Doki rolled his eyes and extinguished the blue flame that still sparked in front of Ochako. And he too, twice defended the hero. Yeah, yeah, I know. Dobby waved his hand non-committedly. Be more careful, crazy. I agree. Twice second the boat. It goes without saying, you shouldn't run a muke so close to a date mission. You're just asking someone to tip a hero off. Shigaraki said. I'm glad you both made it back with minimal injuries. Yeah. Ochako raised a hand to the side of her neck. Hey, I didn't kill you, so all well that ends well. Sure. Ochako murmured sarcastically. Hey, Toga, could we talk upstairs? Yeah, sure. Toga got up from the bar stool and followed the hero upstairs. Why'd you stop killing me, Himiko? You did it earlier. I don't know. I just said it, I guess. Ochako replied. You sure just guess a lot things. Toga remarked passive-aggressively. Don't start with that. You literally took a gamble on my life five minutes ago. The thing I guess on don't matter. Ochako spun around to look at her. Oh... So earlier, when you guessed about your apology to me, it doesn't matter? What about now? I was happy when you called me by a first name. You never do. But does that not matter? Stop being so back and forth and just go ahead and tell me my feelings don't matter and end this whole game. Her voice cracked towards the end, though she feigned confidence. Go on. That's not what I meant and you know it. Stop playing the victim card for once and listen to what I want to say. You're taking my words as something they aren't, then getting upset over something that didn't even cross my mind. I say one thing, and you're suddenly making mountains out of molt hills with it. 
Oh, I'll show you the victim card. Toga growled and shoved Ochako backwards. Before you want to tell me what I'm doing and what I'm thinking, maybe you want to figure out what you think. I'm not joking or blowing things out of proportion when I say that this is your fault. You just don't know how to be clear. Did you a give free lessons on how to make a villain feel bad for no reason? Or did you apply for oblivious to feelings 101? I need to sleep. I'm done with this shit. Toga strolled back to her room, hands jammed in her pocket as she left. Damn. Dobby rolled the back of his head awkwardly. I just came to use the bathroom, but uh, I'll talk to her if you want. No, just... Ugh, I'm sorry, twice. I'm just not in a good mood. Sorry. Ochako said, turning to leave. It's all right, he murmured, an oblivious gaze. He rolled his eyes behind his mask and headed to the bathroom. All right, this one was a bit longer. I didn't want it to be this long, but I had 11 minutes. And so instead of doing like five, five each, I just did 11. I'm tired, I'm sleepy. I have a long drive tomorrow to work. I'm tired, I'm sleepy. Uh, I'm actually excited. I get to work with a coworker that I very much like. I like this coworker. I worked with her today for like a little bit, for like a couple hours. And I was like, oh, I like you. We bounce off each other. I like this. Yes, yes, yes. We even made plans that we could do a road trip. Um, that we, we could talk to our boss and we could do a road trip um, to a different location a bit further out, right? We would road trip with her when she gets like a better car and stuff. And what's it called? Since over there, most of everybody speaks Spanish and she's not fluent in Spanish. Like that area is horrible for her. But like she hears that it's like really good for everybody else. And like she really wants to try it out. I'm like, hey, I know Spanish. And no, yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm happy about that because it's going to be like, okay, I'll help you close, right? Like with translations and stuff like that. Like, dude, we're good. We're good. We're set. You know, we'll split the, the, what's it called? The commission and stuff like that. Yeah. Anyways. Um, wow. Okay. That shit did not go how I thought it was going to go. Are we going to have them be fighting to like chapter 24, 25 when they make up? Is this what it's going to be? Am I just, I'm going to buckle up for that. I'm going to, I'm going to buckle up and not expect any nice fluffy shit from this. Okay. So chapter 22 is called Strange. Chapter notes is two chapters in one day. Happy birthday. I don't know what that says. Have a good one. All right. We don't get any notes. We, we, we just know Strange. Um, oh shit. That shit is long. Sorry, I just saw the little cursor in the side. I'm like, shit, that shit's long. Okay, all right, that shit's long. All right, that is probably gonna be broken up. You're probably gonna be seeing Kingston. Sorry, you're gonna be seeing a lot of episodes broken up right now. I am barely getting into work, and I'm trying to get into the rhythm of things. And I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm I'm trying to get my body used to running on small sleep while doing maximum work. I know, not recommended, but shut the fuck up. I'm making bank, all right? I'm making bank. I'm gonna be making bank, okay, okay, okay. That's all that matters here. Making that bank, many, making that bread, making that money. Cause, I'm gonna be honest, YouTube doesn't pay that well. <laughs> like YouTube pays, but YouTube doesn't pay. Like it pays, but I can't live off of that pay. Like I'm, no, I can't live off of that pay. No, no one can live off of that pay dude but yeah anyways as always my rain drops make sure to eat sleep drink water take your meds have a wonderful day or night link to my discord server is down in the description so is my socials subscribe to see more of my content and thank you so much for watching